speaker of this morning is Pavel or Paul Brovchenko, president of uh, East European Union. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Peace be unto you from our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise be to God for making me able to be here, this place, this morning. And I'm also thankful to God that I can be his representative of his church. And everybody expects that this general conference will, will end up with the Lord's blessing. But our prosperity completely depends on our submission to Christ, and that's what I would like to speak about this morning. In Luke chapter 9, verse 23, we read, and he said to them all, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Евангелист Лука описывает о том диалоге, который у него состоялся с учениками. Here Luke is describing a conversation between Christ and his disciples, his followers. И когда мы читаем с 18 стиха этой же главы по 22, там написано. If we would read from verse 18 in the same chapter up to verse 22, Jesus asked him, you know, what people are speaking about me, whom they consider I am. Some say, oh, they consider that you are the prophet. But the most important question what was asked, он спрашивает, а вы за кого почитаете меня? But whom say ye that I am? What do you think about me? Вы знаете ответ Петра? You know what Peter answered? Петр признал божественность Христа. Peter, Peter recognized the divinity of Christ. Но в 21 стихе написано, Христос строго приказал им никому об этом не говорить. But in verse 21 we see that Jesus commanded them straightly, commanded them tell no man that thing. And then Jesus starts to reveal the future. He says that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be slain and be raised the third day. И прежде чем открыть будущность, Христос говорит, за кого вы меня почитаете? But before Jesus revealed to them the future, he asked them, whom do you think I am? Это актуальный вопрос для каждого из нас сегодня. Кем для меня является Христос? This is a very right question for today. Who is Jesus for me? Какое место в моей жизни занимает Христос? Сколько времени я провожу с Ним в личном How much time I spend with Christ in a personal communication with Him? What place he has in my life? The problem of Jews were, were that they did not see any specialty in this man. They didn't see him as son of God. They, they were considering him as one of the prophets. But they had another problem. They never listened to prophets. They were waiting for Messiah. But they had their preconceived ideas how he should come. And Jesus is asking us today the very same question. In Matthew chapter 16, verse 17, Speaking to Peter, Jesus said, Blessed art thou, Simon uh, uh, Borjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed the, uh, it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. 
Дорогие, наше блаженство, о котором здесь говорится, наше счастье. Uh, my dear, the blessed, blessedness what Jesus is speaking here. Оно заключается в том, насколько мы можем умеем слышать и слушать Господа, насколько наше сердце открыто к нему. It depends on how our heart is open to hear the voice of God. Я хотел бы подметить эту мысль, когда Христос сказал, что чтобы они никому об этом не говорили. Знаете, Бог дает мудрости народу своему. God is giving wisdom to his people, his followers. Знать, когда говорить и когда молчать. And he gives them wisdom to know when to speak and when to keep quiet. Как правильно принести ту весть, которую мы знаем? What is the right way to deliver a message we have? И вот когда Христос открыл будущее, and when Jesus revealed to them the future, когда мы смотрим на будущее и на все в радужных тонах, when we are looking into future through the a lens of uh, kind of uh, anticipation of something good это приятно it's nice to look in the future with a hope но христос говорил о реальности христос говорил о реальности but jesus brought them to the reality насколько были ученики принять эту реальность how much disciples were ready to accept this sad reality ahead of them И вот Христос говорит, что он должен быть убитый, но он даже надежду, что он будет также и воскрешён. Jesus told them, I will be slain, I will be crucified, but there is a hope, I will resurrect. И когда ученики не были готовы принять эту информацию, and when disciples were not ready to accept and understand this information, они были горько разочарованы. They were very disappointed. Дорогие, я обращаюсь к нам, к нам. So my address to you this morning. Как мы смотрим будущее? How are we looking in the future? Мы знаем пророчество. We know the prophecies. Будущее иногда нас тревожит. We, uh, we are often very worried and disturbed about the future. Но тот совет, который сказал Христос в 23 стихе, but what Jesus told in Luke chapter uh, in the verse 23 in the same chapter, он говорит, если кто хочет идти за мной, if anyone wants to follow me, отверни себя, deny yourself, возьми свой крест, Take your cross daily and follow me. В этом наше благословение. This is our blessing and assurance. Я хотел бы этот стих поделить на эти четыре части. I would like to divide this verse in a couple parts and discuss about it. Христос говорит, если. Jesus said, if someone. От этого много зависит в жизни. From this if depends a lot. И вот если кто хочет идти. If someone has this desire to follow. Христос принимает только добровольное служение. Jesus accepts only willful decision. In the Patriarchs and Prophets, we read in the first chapter of this book. Christos, он не испытывает никакой радости от вынужденного повиновения себе. God is does have uh, has no satisfaction in uh, uh, obedience uh, without uh, desire. Если ты принял это решение идти за мной. If you have decided to follow Jesus, all the future is ahead of you and to receive all the blessings. In Matthew 11, 28, we know what says, Come unto me and learn of me, and I'll give you peace. Those yoke, what Jesus is suggesting, take my yoke, Наши личные бремена, our personal yokes, моя плохая привычка, our bad habits, мое личное мнение, my personal opinion. И я влачу это бремя. And I'm carrying that yoke through Христос years. Христос говорит, сними это бремя. And Jesus said, leave that alone. Возьми мое иго. Take my yoke. Я тебе дам мир в душе. And I will не, give you peace. Ты не будешь тревожиться. And you will have no worries. И вот второй, э, вторая мысль, которая говорится, Отверни себя. The second part of that verse from Luke, deny yourself. Не переживай за себя, не заботься о себе. Brothers, don't be troubled about yourself. И вот Христос говорит в Луке 9, 24. In Luke chapter 9, verse 24, we read, Ибо кто хочет душу свою сберечь, тот потеряет ее. 
а кто потеряет душу свою ради меня, тот сбережет ее. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. Христос говорит о наших приоритетах в жизни. Jesus is speaking about our what should be our priorities in our life. И каждый из нас стоит однажды перед выбором. And once we have to make the choice. Если хочешь избежать трудностей, if you wanna flee from troubles, если выбираешь более легкую популярную сторону, if you wanna stay and have it and enjoy your life, потеряешь вечность, you will lose it. Будешь жить жизнью самопожертвования, самоотречения, получишь вечную жизнь. If you will deny yourself and sacrifice yourself, you will have life eternal. Христос дает урок самопожертвования, который все должны усвоить. The best lesson of self-denial we have in Jesus. In Desire of Ages, uh, chapter 620, uh, sorry, page 623. It says that uh, love of self and uh, seeking of my own have to be, uh, have to depart. The law of self-denial, this is the law of uh, self-preserve. But the law of self-pleasing, this is the law of self-destroying. And Jesus saying, this yoke you have to put away, put aside. The following thought, take your cross daily. Когда Христос говорил о кресте, как понимали иудеи символ креста? When Jesus was saying, take your cross, what, what the Jews were thinking about? Они еще не знали Голгофы. They did not about the Calvary, they didn't know about the Calvary yet. Но они видели, как преступники несли свой крест на место казни. But they've seen many times how the uh, th uh, thieves or robbers were carrying their cross to the place of uh, execution. Но Иисус повелел своим последователям взять свой крест и следовать за ним. And in a very same manner Jesus commanded his followers, take your cross and follow me. И слова Христа смутно понимаемые учениками. And the words of Jesus barely were understood by disciples. Призывали к смирению. But at the same time these words of Jesus were calling to self-denial and meekness самыми горкими унижениями и покорностью вплоть до смерти во имя Христа. And Jesus was calling his followers that they should be ready even to lay down their life for his sake. Когда Христос открывал свою будущность, when Jesus was revealing future about his life, Евангелие от Матфея 16 глава 22 23 стих написано так. In Matthew chapter 16 we read Петр начал прикословить ему, говорит, будь милостью к себе, Господи, да не будет этого с тобой. Петр uh, started to, in this conversation, conversation he uh, started to argue with uh, Jesus, saying, then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, be it far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. И когда Христос сказал, отойдет меня сатана. And when Jesus said, you know, uh, to Peter, uh, get thee behind me, Satan. Он не назвал Петра сатаной. He didn't call Peter a Satan. Но он сказал, чтобы сатана, который стал между Христом и Петром, чтобы But он ушел. But he was talking to Satan who took a place between Peter and Jesus that Satan have to stay away. И пророк пишет, что Петр не хотел видеть крест в жизни своей. And the spirit of prophecy say that Peter didn't, well, was not looking for a cross. He didn't expect to have a cross. Протест Петра был вызван страхом разделить мучения Христа. And the, these are religious saying that when Peter rebuked Jesus, he actually was afraid uh, to share this cup with Jesus, the cup of uh, suffering. Но мы знаем историю. But we know the history. Когда Петр был приговорен к смертной казни. When Jesus, Peter was condemned. И пророк пишет так. Деяния апостолов 537 страница. And the Acts of Apostles we read. Но если раньше он не был готов принять крест, то теперь почел за радость отдать на нем свою жизнь за Евангелие. If, uh, if Peter was not before ready to take cross, now he was ready to lay down his life for Jesus. 
И Христос, э, Петр полагал, что для него слишком большая честь умереть так, как умер его учитель. И каждый из нас знает, как, какую, какова была просьба and Петра. We know what Peter asked and how he died. Его жизнь закончилась тоже на кресте. He end up his life on the cross. Но он не почитал себя даже достойным умереть так, как умер Христос. Он был распят не с головой. He was crucified upside down. В служении исцеления 476 страница написано. In Minister of Healing we read. В деле Божьем нет места для тех, у кого желание получить венец преобладает над желанием нести крест. In the work of God there is no place for those whose desire to get the crown of glory is greater than desire to carry the cross. И вот последний момент, который с этого четвёртый момент, о котором я хотел бы сказать. And the fourth uh, thought what I would like to bring your attention. Христос говорит: "Следуй за мной" that phrase Jesus uh, completed with the saying and follow me. When Jesus is ahead of us, we have to follow him step in step. We shouldn't go neither right, neither left. And when in a and when in a, we are reading a history in time of Nehemiah, the Jews were carrying the sheaves on the Sabbath day. And Nehemiah started the work of reformation. So from two left, they went into two right. So in the time of Jesus, Jews condemned Jesus that he is violating the Sabbath. То написано в э, желании веков, 283 страница. Вожди еврейского народа исполняли волю сатаны, обременяя день Божий покоя многочисленными предписаниями. In Desire of Ages, page 283, we read, the Jewish leaders accomplished the will of Satan by surrounding God's rest day with the burdensome requirements. Now they went into extreme, another extreme. But looking into the experience of Peter, as we discussed prior, when he rebuked Jesus, Lord, uh, have mercy on yourself, don't let it happen to you to die on the cross. The prophet says that he went forward forward and the uh, desire of ages described that Peter was running ahead of his master. He tried to run ahead of his master. When a person takes a wrong position, he falls into extreme. Then Peter took another extreme position. He, 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 he took a position of observer on a distance from Jesus to see what will happen. И потому Христос для нас сегодня предлагает, чтобы мы следовали за Ним. This is why Jesus is telling you, follow me, right after me. Но в Второзаконии 4, 4 написано. In Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 4, we read. А вы, прилепившись к Господу Богу вашему, живы все до ныне. But ye that did cleave unto the Lord, ye your God, are alive every one of you this day. When I'm following Jesus and nothing stands between me and my master, I, that means that I'm cleaving to the Lord, to Jesus. So I'm that close into Jesus, so no other person can step between me and Jesus, meaning Satan. And I would like to conclude this study reading from Colossians chapter 1, verse 27. To whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. May God bless us.
чтобы мы приняли его совет. That may we receive his counsel. Взять свой крест. Take our cross. Идти за ним. Follow him. И упустить Христа в свое сердце. And let Jesus be in us. Давайте об этом будем молиться. Let us pray about it. Чтобы Христос был в нас. That Jesus would be in us. И когда Христос станет нашей частью. And when Jesus will become part of us. Тогда мы и сможем исполнить Его волю. Then we will be able to fulfill His will. И Его воля будет исполнена и на этой конференции. And let His will be fulfilled on this conference as well. Я об этом верю. Я об этом молюсь. I believe and pray about it. И пусть Бог нас благословит. Аминь. Amen.